Chris, things seem to be working a lot better tonight. What's improving? How is the chemistry? Uh, <clears throat> it's coming along, but we still got to get better in a lot of spots. You know, our defense still wasn't clean. We just, you know, we had some good spurts again, and we we were able to score more points than tonight. Did you feel you had to take up more of the scoring with James out of the lineup tonight? Yeah, I just wanted to come out aggressive. You know what I mean? Team's been playing that drop on us uh, in the pick and roll, and I ain't been really taking that mid-range pull up. And I just said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be aggressive tonight. Mike told us about a timeout in which you had a lot to say about turning things up defensively. What was your message, or what did you say? Yeah, you know, we didn't play a lot of games now, and the coaches, you know, they're trying to do schemes. But we just said, y'all stay out for a second. Let us talk. You know what I mean? Like, at some point, enough is enough. And we talked about it as a team. Like, what were we going to do? Because they were just scoring every time down. And, you know, we, we just needed that. We came together and we, we put together some stuff. Is this win needed a little more than most wins? Given the uh, it's always nice to win. You know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, regardless of the situation, guys in or out or whatnot. Obviously, we're trying to get our team back to full strength. But it's always nice to win. The, the food tastes better. The flights are a little bit easier. You know, you sleep a little bit better. It's always nice to win. What was it that got frustrated or worried about? What was your kind of emotion about the way you guys were playing the last few games? Um, I mean, I'm, I, I've been playing long enough to look at a big picture. You know what I mean? I, obviously, we always like to win. Me and Coach talked about it. That night after games, I'd be pissed if we lose. But we realize all the different layers and stuff that's going on. We're not panicking. We'll be all right. What was it that got Carmelo going tonight? Was it just open looks? Uh, we got in some open looks. We got some stops. We got out in transition. You know, anytime we can get some stops, you know, we we tough to guard in transition because we can get our threes up. The difference is defensively was it mostly effort? Think? A lot of it was effort, uh, communicating, and you got to talk. Especially a team like that that moves a lot without the ball, you got to talk because if not, they make you pay. And in our league now, you see, if you don't score 100 points on a night, then you probably shouldn't be in the NBA. <laughs> Seriously, like every night now is 130, it's 120, or something like that. So you, you got to play some defense. Do you, do you like that, the difference in you know, pace and scoring? I'm cool. We, we, we play like that anyway. You know what I mean? But now it's not just us that play like that. I think everybody else doing it too. Is it, is it even more frustrating when you've, you've been so high? You, you, you went to game seven of the Western Conference Finals and then you have that kind of like a rough start that doesn't make it even more frustrating because that's no, the cool. expectation you had. It's cool. I mean, it's all part of the process. I mean, James, and, me and James have played two games together. You know what I mean? Like, two games. I, mean, I got suspended. He's been hurt. You know, different guy. James Ennis has also been out. Uh, we we, we going to figure it out. So. And tomorrow James is going to be back in the rotation. What do you expect? Is it going to be much easier? We'll see. I hope so. You know what I mean? He's been out for, what, three games, four games, something like that? I don't know. It's tough coming back from any injury. So if he scored 40, cool. If he scored five, that's cool, too. We got a lot of season left. Can you can you use this adversity as well and make it a, kind of a motivation factor? And um, <clears throat> it's crazy, man, the way I look at stuff. If we win the championship, we'll look back on this and say, oh, this is what made us stronger. This is what, if we don't, you know what I'm saying, they'll say, oh, they was tough all season long. So. Depends on how we write the story at the end. <laughs> Beyond just the win, was there a sort of satisfying feeling that everybody kind of left it all out there and competed with it? Yeah, yeah. When we got down 14 to 15, we could have let go of the rope and just said, you know, chalk this up as a loss. But we, we, it was it was bigger than just winning the game. You know what I mean? When you get in uh, February and, you know, April and stuff like that, you know, Winning this game or losing this game isn't that big of a deal. It's how you react to the adversity during the game. Are you, were you the one that tells Mike and the, the staff at that time out, just stay over there, we'll talk? Yeah, yeah, out. yeah. Just because, I mean, they can tell us all the schemes they want to, but it's up to us to figure out how we going to you know, get a stop. What did he, what's his reaction? He's, I'm sure he's fine with it. But it's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? We talk. We communicate. You know what I mean? It ain't about me trying to belittle him or anything like that. Like we're all a team and if we can't communicate like that then we we shouldn't be doing this anyway. Can it help to, to be on the road like this, to be a kind of like away from home and just the group together? And yeah, I don't think we ever want to play in Houston again. We ain't won there yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We let's just play all road games and see how we how we finish up. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate it.